Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best gobble gum to use on the map Der Isendrak and Shadows of Evil and this could work for the Giant too. So first off, I want to let you guys know that this is going to fit in well with episode 3 of how to get better at zombies. Now I'm not going to be releasing like each day, you know, a new video for that playlist, but if you haven't seen it, go ahead and navigate to my homepage, click on it, and you can watch the previous two videos. But today is episode 3, and what I want to talk about mostly is Gobblegum, because it's the perks of Black Ops 3, very useful to have. And it's kind of like if you go back in time, whenever there were not perks, and then they added perks, um, you know, people were like, oh yeah, cool, perks. And it's kind of like the same here, like, oh yeah, cool, Gobblegum, let me just use my perks. But these things are actually needed in almost every zombie game so let's just go ahead let's quit talking let's go straight into what i have so as you can see before we even talk about what they are the setup you have to have an alchemical not too sure a thesis alchemical and thesis you need to have that and to be able to get that multiple times in a game you have to put that next to four epics or anything you know greater than just your common just your goblin gobble gum pack so this is a normal one you just get it for playing the game ranking up and then here's the megas and you can spread them out with any mega you want or ultra rare mega or rare mega and it'll just make it even more so each one of these i don't know the numbers let's just say these megas right here uh what do we have a mega rare mega rare mega mega okay let's say the megas is uh you have a 20 percent chance of getting them from the gobblegum machine right and then you have these both rare megas that you have like uh a 20 or 15 percent chance i guess the megas would be like a 25 and then the rare megas would be like a 20 whereas the normal ones are like a 30 or higher so you're more likely to get those and i know if you look at them overall you're more likely to get any kind of a rare than just that but you have to look at them individually and just imagine like a bar graph or something like whichever one's the tallest bar graph whichever one you're more likely to get you will get so that's why i'd say only use one of these only one of these in any gumball pack you have these can be changed out um i think all the dlc ones are kind of trash this one's the only one that's decent. The headshot thing is dumb. Uh, this, I mean, death machines are cool, but after a certain round, it doesn't work. And this is the ultimate troll, Call of Duty. Get your teammates down. Just run next to them as they're running their train. Turn all their zombies into crawlers, and then they'll go down. Almost guaranteed fact. So, let's look at what I have. I have Phoenix up. Nine of those. That's just in case my teammate goes down. You guys know what it's for. And even if I'm playing in a public lobby, like everyone's down except me, and I don't feel like clutching, press up and I got it. This on the house. I really use these in solos. I had many more. I think I had like 12 of these at one time. And I just, I use those to try to get jug on round one. And it also works for co op if I don't want to use Perkaholic. If you don't have one, these are a little bit easier to get. You can just try to get Jug early on, and it really sets you up. Like I said, this thing is amazing, especially for Shadows of Evil. Any gun, or like if a Gersh worked like this, anything that you shoot out and then it kills zombies after you shoot it, this thing is perfect for it. That it's, you know, it's kind of good for the map, the Giant with the Wonder Waff, but it really does well with all these bows. You just keep shooting them. Next back, cash back. I have ten of those very good you need them for the high rounds and then this right here is like a questionable one you don't have to have it but i like having five perks so i get this and i can go and pick up you know quick revive or something like that anytime i'm just playing with a lot of people so that's been my perks hopefully you guys enjoyed this let me know down below what you guys run and how you like the uh like the cushioning something that's really good like this i get a lot so let me know down below uh, this has been episode 3 of How to Get Better at Zombies or Get Better at Zombies. I'll see you tomorrow.